Good morning guys, welcome to another vlog. Today we are having a productive day. We're gonna go to yoga. I really wanna put up the Christmas tree today. This year I'm planning to put up two Christmas trees. First Christmas tree I'm doing is gonna be in our main living room. And then whenever this room next to me is done renovating, then that's where the second living room and the second Christmas tree is gonna be. So I'm so excited! Okay, we're gonna do some skincare using the Peach Slices Snail Rescue. This is gonna be my toner today. This toner is insane if you want glass skin hydrated skin if you guys remember my skin was breaking out like crazy when i had my period like a few weeks ago like two weeks ago and now my skin is back to being good using my peach slices snow rescue this is a deep moisture cream it's very deeply hydrating and you don't need a lot i forgot to mention the serum i'm using this is the peach slices oil control pore serum as you guys can tell i love peach slices they have amazing skincare for sunscreen we're gonna use this one by ennis Ray. Guys, I've been feeling so good these days. You guys know how I had so much anxiety. Honestly, I think my PMDD played a big part, but also just like life. And recently, I've been feeling so much better. And I feel more positive and I feel more grateful. Guys, this is so good. This gives you like a natural glow. I got these sent to me a while ago and I never touched it until recently. I'm hooked, guys. I'm addicted. I'm using the shade medium. Look at how my face looks. Ugh. So good. Now I'm just gonna spot conceal. Going in with the Milk Lip and Cheek. This is in Tally. Recently I've been really loving this because the color is really cute and pinky. This is this lip balm from Jason Wu. I love this. Makeup is done. This is like a really natural, clean girl look. Outfit of the day, I'm not wearing my shoes yet, but I'm wearing these nude pants. These are from Aerie. Then I'm wearing this nude bralette, which I got this on AliExpress, surprisingly. And also I'm wearing pink sleeves. The pink sleeves came from a set that I got on YesStyle. I am so excited for yoga today. I've been really loving yoga. It makes me feel so calm and present. It's definitely helped me in my healing journey. Definitely start new hobbies if you guys can. It's really good for your mental health. Anyways, we're gonna eat some Vita Fusion vitamin gummies. These are the multivitamins for women. I really like the berry one. So good. <laughs> Here's a cute little breakfast sandwich I made yesterday, so silly. I cannot wait until I have a husband one day so I can make my husband breakfast sandwiches. The bread is English muffin. We have an egg and a sausage. So today I'm doing yoga in a studio that I've never done yoga before. Because I'm new, I still want to try like different studios, see the vibe. Hi guys, so I'm driving right now and the traffic is insane. But that's okay because that gives me time to talk to you guys. Also, just got my nails done. <laughs> Shout out to Sienna, my nail tech. Recently I've been listening to this podcast called The Good Fucking Energy Podcast. I love this podcast because it's all about like spirituality, finding yourself. The girl who hosts it, her name is Brooke. Something about the way she talks about things it literally speaks to my soul traffic is insane but it feels good to just sit in the car and just listen to a podcast that is definitely one of my favorite things to do okay guys i'm here i'm about to go in and i just realized i booked my yoga appointment for the wrong location but that's okay we're still gonna do it yoga is yoga yeah let's go i hope i'm not the only student because i honestly don't know what to expect did today was yin yoga it wasn't like the typical like vinyasa stuff like for yin yoga you end up just doing poses for like 10 minutes almost and you're holding them and you're kind of just relaxing grounding yourself relaxing so deeply that it's almost basically meditation i really liked it personally because my brain is always scattered like even when i do meditation myself if i meditate i usually do it for less than 20 minutes on my own but being here for a whole hour meditating was just a whole different experience and when i tell you i almost fell asleep i low-key i probably did fall asleep i feel so good i walked out of there feeling really proud of myself for trying in yoga i've tried the yoga flow classes and i've tried a yoga sculpt class yin yoga out of the three is definitely just so much more relaxing as you guys know i try to work out five times a week and so recently instead of weightlifting five times a week i've changed my weightlifting to four times a week and in that fifth day of working out I've decided I want it to be yoga so I still have five days of movement I think that it's good to have variation in your workouts or variation of movement in your life because sometimes you get bored you know All 
Alright guys, I am back home. Let me show you guys some of the stuff I bought. Okay, so I bought a little thing to put under the tree. These are the ornaments I have. So I got these blue ones, these pink ones, and I bought two of each pack. And I bought three of these white ornaments from Hobby Lobby. Those are from Target though. But these ones are just plain white and some glittery and some iridescent. I actually found this in my basement. I love the color of this blue, so we're definitely going to be using the ornaments in here. We'll just see if I end up using these ones because they're a little bit of a different shade of blue than I was hoping for. So I might just go with those and these ones here. I also bought some fake snow stuffers. So I'm gonna put this in the tree. And I got some flowers to throw in the tree as well. Oh my god, Chloe! And then over here, I bought some cute trees and decoration stuff. Here's a before of the area we are working with. We have two TVs in the living room because my parents like watching two different sports. I turn one on. Tell me why they both turn on. That's so inconvenient. Here's a photo of what I'm making today. Some salmon with salsa. And the salsa has mangoes in it. It looks really good. So I really want to try it. Oh my god, guys. Let's try it. I put a little bit of soy sauce on the salmon. That's a good bite. Mm. Oh my god. That is so good. Guys. I literally found this recipe on Pinterest. I feel like that girl. They brought the tree up. I'm so excited. Oh my god. Yeah, my tree is so cute. To put my tree up, I actually had Vincent help me. We accidentally put the wrong piece on first, so we had to redo it. But these pieces are so heavy. The first step to a cute Christmas tree is fluffing it out because when it's in the box, it gets all squished, you know? And in case you guys are wondering, I got this tree from Home Depot. I got it like three years ago. It's so gorgeous. Now I'm gonna add this fake snow stuffing into the tree. This is something I don't usually do. Oh my God, Nina is so big now, y'all. But this helps make the tree look less empty in certain areas, as you guys can tell. It kind of just fills the tree up a little bit more. Here's my brother double stacking those chairs. I don't know why he did that. Like, how do he trust that? But if I'm being honest, y'all, I swear my dog thinks she's a cat. Tell me why she likes cat toys way more than dog toys. Now I'm just putting up all the ornaments. I really like getting my ornaments from Hobby Lobby. They have like a large variation. And I swear, every time I go, there's always 50% off something. So either the flowers, the ornaments, even home decor. I love Hobby Lobby. Super cute. That's where all like the moms go, you know, like the festive housewife mom. That's what I'm trying to be one day. Also, I put ribbon in my tree this year. This is something I never do and it's game changer. My tree looks so pretty. And of course, you cannot forget flowers. I feel like flowers are like the cherry on top. You have to add a little bit of color a little abstractness yeah cute After I did the tree though, I went ahead and answered some emails, did a little bit of work since I wasn't able to this morning. And tell me why whenever I'm on my laptop, I make the weirdest faces. This is why I don't study at a library. Guys, let's do a little Yes Style haul because I ordered $500 worth of clothes because I love Yes Style so much. A lot of their stuff fit me because I am a small human being. Their clothes are really good for really small people. I have this huge pile of clothes right here. I was trying to not show it this morning so I would like kick it to the side. But it's been on the ground because I have literally nowhere to put this stuff. Because if I put it in my closet, I'm going to forget all about it and I'm not going to touch it. I got this shirt, this cute brown mini skirt. This is the crop top that actually comes with the sleeves here. Cute. I got this white cropped leather jacket. I got this black leather jacket. This is gonna be so cute for a picture. I got this red one. Yeah, this reminds me of like that 17 music video, their outfits. Yeah, green crop top. It has like a neck strap. Cute. Y'all cannot tell me green does not look good on me. Black sports bra. Another black sports bra. I got this white sports bra. I got this set. This is the skirt. Here's the top. I love the pattern. I got these pants. It has string on the side. I got this cute off shoulder black dress. This gray dress. This yellow top. Blue sports bra. And lastly, I got this pink purse. This is my favorite favorite item I got in this haul because look at it, it's just gorgeous. Okay, my hair is dried and my face has no skincare. My lips are so dry. So I'm gonna put on some chapstick. I'm actually gonna do an eye mask So before I do an eye mask, I'm gonna do a little bit of toner because my face is so dry That just gave me so much hydration. We're gonna use the N beauty eye mask 
Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I thought it was gonna look like a regular eye mask. <laughs> this is not matching the aesthetic. If I knew it wasn't gonna match the aesthetic, I would have worn one that matched the aesthetic. But it's okay. An eye mask is an eye mask. We're just gonna go with it. I'm gonna spend the next 10 to 15 minutes reading some chapters out of this book. <laughs> Guys, this book is insane. It's honestly, it's helping me so much. Feelings are feelings. Good feelings are feelings, bad feelings are feelings. They can't hurt you. You need to allow yourself to feel. That's something that I'm telling you guys because it's something I have to remind myself all of the time because I noticed and I've learned recently that the reason I have so much built-up anxiety is because I have this resistance to feeling and have a resistance to allowing my feelings be. Real emotional maturity is how thoroughly you let yourself feel anything, everything, and whatever comes. It is simply the knowing that the worst thing that could ever happen, 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 is just a feeling at the end of the day. We avoid feeling anything because we've been taught that our feelings have lives of their own, that they'll carry on forever if we give them even a thought of awareness. Have you ever felt joy for more than a few minutes? No? How about tension, depression, sadness? Those have lasted longer, haven't they? Weeks and months and years at a time, right? When I think of joy, I'm like so happy, but it's quick and it's that but tension depression anxiety i have had that for years that's because those aren't feelings those are symptoms what you have to know is that suffering is just a refusal to accept what is so healing is really just letting yourself feel it is unearthing your traumas and embarrassments long story short guys healing means allowing yourself to feel that's one thing that i've always struggled with and it's one thing that i'm trying to get better at because in just these few weeks i have allowed myself to feel I've been way more compassionate. I have had way less anxiety. I am filling up, y'all. I feel so good. I feel so abundant. It's been working. It's been working. Personal growth healing era. It's been working. Oh my God, they're falling. Mm, these feel good. Guess what time it is? It's give Chloe a bath time guys she looks like a teddy bear right now so freaking cute but she's dirty so we're gonna give her a bath but i don't really want to give her a haircut because i like her fluffy guys i cut once and then i cut twice and then all of a sudden i cut so much look at how much hair i cut off <sighs> She's ugly guys, but it's okay. At least she's clean. I decided to end off the night editing this video and also playing with my Chloe bear, of course. And also I ended up watching Om Shanti Om, which is one of my favorite Bollywood dramas. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next week.